Performance USA, coming to you this week and every week until it's over, over there. Flash, this is the news the Allied world has been waiting for. The battle for Berlin has ended, and Germany's unconditional surrender is expected within days. After 12 years and three months, Hitler's self-proclaimed thousand-year Reich has ceased to exist. But what of those reports of a secret Nazi superweapon aimed at Washington? Categorically false, says the War Department, and we believe them. So to every one of our brave GIs soon to be home... Hitchcock, can that radio! Right, we need to be thinking about home in a time like this. Say, sauerkraut. Your best scowl yet, Kowalski. We're flying into a suicide mission and you're taking pictures. Take it easy, Kowalski. So they got a super weapon. We got one too. You mean that poster boy for the recruitment office? He's gonna die down there just like the rest of us. Captain, drop zone, sir. Soldier Barnes, we're getting blown to pieces. Here he comes. Fortunes have crossed yet again. Kleiser. Starten Sie die Rakete! Jetzt! This war is over and you're lost. Haven't you heard? Hitler's dead! Oh. Patriotic fool! Look around you! This isn't about Hitler!
My dearest Gale, if you're reading this, it means something has happened to me. My only regret is that I couldn't see you one last time. But I know in my heart that we will meet again, in this life or the next. Love, Steve. Still nothing, General. Professor Ross? Hold on. I'm realigning inertial navigation systems. Here we go. Echolocation has a new target motion analysis. A new one? General Fury, North Atlantic is a complex jumble of currents, all of which are manipulated daily by tides, precipitation, and the whims of God. Multiply that by 60 plus years and the estimated weight of a drifting body and- Glacial mass off the starboard bow. All stop. <laughs> We found something. Where? 182 meters straight ahead, inside that glacier. Be damned. Maintain an incremental two degree thaw. I want to minimize any undue trauma to the cadaver. Again, nice work, Professor. I'll let you be the one to inform Dr. Banner. Thank you, General. Dr. Banner? Excuse me. Sorry? Mm -hmm. You were, um, telling us the reason we'd been assigned to the program. Right, well, let's see. Yes, General Fury. It seems the old guy is running out of patience, so he's beefing up my staff. The super soldier serum. The same one that elevated a frail enlisted man to the peak of human physical perfection. 
The original file. Read it, memorize it. It's useless thanks to the inept record keepers of 1940. And so the secrets to that serum died with Captain America at the end of World War II. Then what data are we basing our trials on? A 4,000 page hypothesis. Part of the package you'll be enjoying tonight. You'll note that we have 12 super soldier candidates for whom we're developing 12 different serums. It's unique for every person. And to keep the chain of possession untainted, only I am authorized to handle their blood samples. But then what will we be doing? For now, you'll be assisting Professor Ross in completing the rebirth chamber. It's what administers the serum. The schematics are also in your packet. Any questions? Any questions not about the Hulk? We found him. How's the body? Any damage? None that I could see. I mean, he looks like he could just get up off the table. Better be careful. The tissue could be fragile. Soldier, this is not what you think. Everyone stand down. Let him get outside. Has changed, son. Did did we win? We did. systems are green, General. Okay, let's run it through its paces before we kick it into orbit. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, it looks like we might have a hit in the Nevada desert. Already? It's confirmed. Vibranium hull. Definitely a Chitauri ship. It's changing course. Ah, you can run, but you can't hide. Not anymore. Sir, vectors indicate it's moving into orbit. Toward the satellite. Get those astronauts back in the shuttle, now! Shuttle 
immediately. I repeat, pull your team in. That is a hostile craft. Affirmative. Pass the signal into the war room. We have a situation. We are aware. General Fury, how long before you can deploy another satellite? I won't sacrifice any more lives until we can guarantee the success of this mission. How long, General? Within the week. Then we will use that time to put a defense initiative in place. Jumpstart Project Avenger. With all due respect, that would be a mistake. My super soldier program- Has yet to yield results. Begin recruitment efforts immediately. You have our shortlist. But they're civilians, super-powered showboaters. They won't take orders from me, or anyone else. The stakes are too high. General Fury. I just need a little more time. Now that we've found Captain America. That is all, General. They're just making sure he's stable. Still, I should be in there. What? I don't know. It's just nice seeing passion in those eyes of yours again. Betty, finding Captain America is an answer to so many problems. I know. I always knew you'd be the one to crack the serum, and this is your chance. No, Betty, I mean, our problems. Once I figure this out, we can... Bruce! Look, I know things have been bad, I've screwed things up, but I'll get everything under control and we can be together again. Stop it! Just stop it. This isn't about us. This is about restoring your reputation as a scientist. This time it will be different. No, Bruce. Not again. Why? Why? Because it's never different. You'll never have it under control. And I can't live like that. Not anymore. Banner, how soon before there's a working trial on that serum? It's hard to say. Four weeks, maybe. No good. The entire program is circling the drain. They can't do that! I need results. Fast. Then take me off my meds. They're slowing me down. No! We all remember the last time you tried that banner. They're still rebuilding the city. <sighs> and what's going on with the rebirth chamber? You're behind schedule. We're still waiting for components from Stark Enterprises, and I can't get a hold of Tony. Don't worry about it. I know how to get his attention. Sorry for the delay, Mr. Fortier, bonjour. Yes, the contracts are now in the hands of my GSA specialists. Next week at the latest. Merci. Au revoir. I'll have what he's having. Are you really Russian, or are you just trying to make an impression? I try at nothing. <laughs> Let's start again. I'm Tony. Stark, I know. I saw your name on the building. And you are? Unimpressed. You're not gonna make this easy, are you? Would you like me to? Let's start with your name. Not here. In private. Is this private enough? Natalia. Romanov. As in the Black Widow? 
I prefer to call her my number one. You're a hard man to pin down, Tony. Not really, given the proper motivation. What's on your mind, Fury? Where are my parts? Try and be more specific. I supply S.H.I.E.L.D. with many parts. You do, don't you? Hmm. Could be you're overextended. Too many fat military contracts? I could lighten your load, if you want. Nice, Fury. Bully the man who put S.H.I.E.L.D. on the map. It was my impression we put you on the map. Your parts were shipped out this afternoon. Now, we both know you're not here busting my chops over tardy components. What do you really want? This guy. Iron Man. <laughs> Why come to me? I think you know him. In fact, I think he came to you for his armor. Please, I'm insulted. Stark Industries doesn't make cheap toys. Your helicopter is waiting. Jarvis, who am I having dinner with? The governor, sir. In 15 minutes. I'm free for nightcaps later. Interested? You can bring your gun. Maybe later. So long, Fury. This isn't a game, Stark. It's a matter of international security. I want your help on this. All right, if it's that important, I'll supply you with my latest line of armaments. At a good price, of course. Jarvis, send Fury home with a couple of my new plasma cannons. Certainly, sir. And let's avoid getting the governor into any mischief tonight, shall we, Mr. Stark? No promises. Sir, I'd like to speak with the commanding officer. General Fury is away from the base. I'm Dr. Banner, head of the Super Soldier program. The program still exists, but I... I was told that it ended with me. It did, but not for lack of trying. It was reinstated several years ago. What, bad idea? I don't know. How many soldiers have gone through it? Counting you? One. I haven't been able to duplicate the process, but I will. We're kind of hoping you'll help us with that which is why I'd like to take a blood sample, if that's okay. Are you all right? I I'm fine. I've just waited a long time for this. It means that much to you? It's everything to me. Here, this was in your jacket. I wanted to make sure you got it back. Is she still alive? Yes. But there's something you should know. And I want a full security detail monitoring his every move. It's a different city than he remembers. Ah! Man, I hate ants. I know. Hello, Pim. Still holding a grudge, I see. Nah. I look at it this way. You got what you deserved. Speaking of which, have you cracked that serum yet? Good to see you've matured, Hank. Is your wife around? Is she expecting you? Yes, I am. And honey, they're ready for you in the lab. Don't forget your ants. I'll never understand what you see in that guy. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't see it either. But you know, losing the SSP post to Bruce was the best thing that ever happened to him. He's achieved so much since then. No doubt to rub it in my face. Precisely. Well, good to know I can still inspire people. So, what brings you to Brooklyn? We're forming a team, Janet. I believe you'd be an asset. A team for what? Superhuman softball? We've got a problem that's more than S.H.I.E.L.D. can handle. Sorry, but I can't tell you any more than that. I don't know, Nick. This sounds too big for me. But... I'll agree to help, if you take Hank, too. No way. I need heroes, not pretentious lab jockeys. Before you make up your mind, I want to show you something. Yes? Listen, Jan, you don't need to beg Fury to invite me to his little party. I could sell myself. Just show me what you got, Hank. <laughs> Never underestimate pretentious lab jockeys, Fury. 
General, an airliner has lost two engines and it's coming down over Long Island. Tragic, but why tell me? Iron Man is attempting to rescue it. Welcome to the team. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm only part of a larger rescue effort. Be sure to- Target is stationary, sir. But he's surrounded by civilians. Hold all positions. Let's first attempt contact on the ground. Uh, sorry folks, that's all for today. I'm late for a tune-up. He's made us. Let's move! Ease up, Iron Man. I just want to have a conversation. Okay, here's your choice. Either set down, or we're gonna set you down. Right. Hi there! What do you want with me? A minute of your time, that's all. Ten seconds. The long and short of it, the planet's being threatened and we need a tough team to handle it. I want you on that team. I work alone. And by the way, Stark sold you some lousy guns. Nice outfit. Really, guys, I can find my way from here. Go get a cup of joe or something. I think I'm gonna dye it black and then get it pierced. What do you think? Never... The neighborhood's changed a little. doing come in come in how about some decaf sure what's a decaf I'm sorry Steve but for the rest of us time moved on has she had a good life she has we were so devastated and and then over the years Gail and I just well, you know. It's okay. Listen, um, is she here? Upstairs. It's hard for her, you know. She needs a little time. I hope you understand. <sighs> what do you hear from the guys? I knew everyone I cared for they're all gone Steve listen to me you should have left me in the ice general you haven't lost everything son you still have your country and we need you now more than ever Why me, General? Because you're the only one who has faced this enemy and defeated them. But I just don't think I'm ready to lead. Well, I do. Here, get to know your team. 
What's his story? He flies, hurls, lightning, makes rain, that sort of thing. People can do that now? Some, but this guy thinks he can do it because he's Thor. Thor? As in the Norse god of thunder. And what do you think? I think he's a few rounds short of a full clip. But there's no getting over those powers of his. I have faced down the frost giants of Jotunheim, dark elves from Svartalfim, even the fire demon Surtur himself. So your threats matter nothing to me, well, killer. I won't be warning you again. Either turn about and let us pass, or things will get serious. Oh, but things are serious. And though we are but peaceful demonstrators, do not assume we cannot be provoked. Like that. Huh? Turn to port! Please, wait for me below. Nicholas Fury, never a pleasure. Hello, Goldilocks. And Captain, you are well, I hope. I, uh, don't believe we've met. We have not, officially. Thirsty? Asgardian mead. Nectar of the gods. Guaranteed to make you feel immortal. <laughs> no thanks. I hope you are not here to arrest us for our recent protests in Washington, General. It was a peaceful demonstration until... Until you were provoked, yes, I know. Actually, the captain and I are here to extend an invitation. We're forming a team to fend off a global threat. So what do you say? This. <laughs> and this. <laughs> Thor, this threat is very real. Go back to your paymasters, General, and tell them that the son of Odin is not interested in the wars of man. Thor. Not interested. But at the very least, your team will have a conscience. Safe passage, my friend. Uh, you too. <laughs> Sir, what happened down there? Were we attacked? Yeah. By Bruce Banner. There's a monster inside the good doctor. A monster? That's what happens when a guy shares space with an explosion of gamma radiation and survives. I don't believe it. He seems so normal. Every time he finds himself even a little upset, that beast comes out. The madder he gets, the stronger he gets. The more landscape he levels. He becomes raw. Unleash rage. A hulking monster right out of your worst nightmares. Captain America? <laughs> he looks so young. Yeah, well, he's about 60 years too old for you, so you can pick your tongue up off the floor now. Mm. Hey. So, Fury, who you got in mind to lead this little scout troop? Kind of early for a promotion, isn't it, Pim? All right, everyone listen up. You're now officially part of Project Avenger. You'll be working as a unit under the command of Captain America. <laughs> Great. We'll all end up on ice. So let's get started. Hey, Tin Man. Come back for a rematch? Tim, that's enough. Okay, now that we're all here. May 2nd, 1945. A secret Nazi fortress off the coast of Norway. Designed and built to launch this. A nuclear warhead. Fortunately, it was scuttled before it could reach Washington. And we owe a great debt of gratitude to the brave soldier responsible. 
General, how did the Nazis manage to acquire nuclear capabilities? With a little help, extraterrestrials. <laughs> oh, come on. Little green men? Mr. Pym, I have seen these things. They've killed my men, so they are very real. And just before they went into hiding, the unit photographer took these. The Germans called them Shatari. Hiding? Why are they still here? We don't know. But they move around in three ships and like to buzz our nuclear power plants and military facilities. We finally figured out how to track them, using a satellite to detect the unusual metal in their hulls. This is what they thought of that idea. Black, my God. <clears throat> so, uh, how did you get a line on the metal they used? One of their ships was destroyed when the Nazi warhead detonated. That was our first lucky break. The second, the aliens neglected to recover every piece of its wreckage. We got this hull panel and some fragments. What kind of alloy is this? Unknown. We call it vibranium. But whatever it is, it absorbs energy like a sponge. Barring a nuclear blast, nothing can penetrate it. Well, nothing except more vibranium. Unfortunately, the amount we've recovered is minimal. Is Stark Enterprises working on a way to counteract it? Oh, please. Unless there's a decent buck to be made, Tony will just backburner us for the next 12 months. I don't know how you guys put up with that arrogant jerk. So the bottom line is, we can't find these ships, and we can't shoot them down if we do. Am I correct? I never said this was going to be easy. So if any of you want out, tell me now. to learn everything about you. You'll be happy to know that the analysis of your blood has yielded exciting results. Dr. Banner, I know about the Hulk. You have to understand, the Hulk has ruined everything in my life. My work, my identity, my relationships. And you think the serum can help you? Yes! That monster is a menace because he can't be controlled. But the very principles of the super soldier process indicate that such transmutations can be controlled. He can be a benefit to humanity, just like you are. I don't know if this was a blessing or a curse. Why? All I ever wanted was to serve my country and have a normal life. But I'll never have a normal life. I expected you to be the one person to understand. We all have our place in this fight, Dr. Banner. You are a man of science. Use that to leave your mark on the world. We're finished here, Captain. Thank you for coming. Yes? On my way, General. Oh, no. No. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Leave me alone! You've been ignoring your meds. Betty, I can't focus. You know the Hulk will destroy everything. I didn't ask for any of this. Neither did I. You're not the only victim here. What's the crisis, General? Approximately 20 minutes ago, a high-security shield facility was breached by a Shatari alien. He then proceeded to kill every security officer on site. My guess is he's after the Shield One satellites, the same kind they pushed out of orbit yesterday. He sealed himself in and activated the automated defense system surrounding the center hub. We've been unable to disable it. Captain, we cannot afford to lose those satellites. But just as important, I want that Shatari delivered to me, got it? Yes, sir. Here's your new issue. The shield is a blend of adamantium and vibranium fragments. No one will be denning this one. Well done. Tell me, are you issuing trash can lids to the whole team, or just him? Shut up, Hank. You waste vibranium on his shield when we need it for weapons? In the hands of Captain America, that shield is a weapon. You could join us. Don't put me on the payroll just yet. Let's see how this goes. General Fury! The intruder has hacked into our database. He's downloading everything. Blueprints, security protocols. Lock him out. I am trying, but nothing's working. Orders are to secure the center hub of the plant, which is one level below ground. To get there, we have to first make it past the automated weaponry. I can get through without setting them off. Wasp, not yet. Wasp! Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Take it easy, old man. Now you're gonna see what today's heroes can do. Iron Man, scan through the roof to determine the alien's position. Black Widow, take the loading dock. I'll take the east entrance. Giant Man, you'll remain here. If he escapes, you stop him. Oh, great plan, coach. Bench your most powerful player. Those are your orders, Pim. Let's go! The central corridor is clear. I'm proceeding ahead. Loading bay is clear. The intruder is still in the center hub. One floor down. I'm detecting what could be infrared triggers all around Watt. Okay, everyone advance! Wasp, that corridor is too hot. Maintain position until you can be extracted. Don't worry. At this size, nothing can... Jam! Janet! Wasp, are you all right? I'll find her. No, Iron Man. Stay in position. Sorry, Captain. Rescuing ladies is what I do.
down. to get us killed. Thanks. I, um, I'm not used to being rescued. About that arrogant jerk comment earlier? Stark! I should have known. Sir, I'm afraid... Save it, Captain. I know what happened. You let that alien blow up the satellites and steal everything there is to know about S.H.I.E.L.D. Do you realize how vulnerable that makes us? Nick, this wasn't his fault. No, you're all to blame. You disobeyed orders. You deviated from the plan. And if Hank hadn't left his post, that intruder would have been ours. I was trying to save my wife. That was not your mission. I got no use for hotshot amateurs. You're fired, Pim. Oh, yeah? Well, good luck winning this without us, Fury. Come on, Jan. I'm sorry. Janet! This is exactly why I work alone. You two, report back to base. Captain, where are you going? Captain! Let him go. I will talk to him. on alert. We're going to DEFCON 4. Yes, sir. And pass me through to the SSP lab. Yes? Banner, I want to know the exact status of that serum. Promising news, General. I think we're finally ready. Good. I want you to prepare for all 12 candidates. 12? Well, isn't that rushing it a bit? Banner, are you ready or aren't you? I am. I'll get right on it. You have nowhere to go, Captain. Steve, wait. Please. Your performance today, it is to be admired, regardless of... I failed. No, the team failed you. I was in command. You are not responsible. I told the General I wasn't ready for this. Someone could have been killed. And what if they were? We all make that sacrifice going in. It is not your burden. Steve, you are someone who gives his all for what he believes in. And whether I get hurt or whether I die, you are a man I'm willing to follow. Do yourself a favor. Don't. I just think that once General Fury cools off, we should go talk to him. Forget it, Jan. Have you no dignity? It was our fault, Hank. Ours. If we just listen to Steve. Why are you sticking up for that guy, huh? It was a mistake to put him in charge. It's always everyone else's fault and never yours, right, Hank? Yeah, right.
Professor Ross, where's Banner? He's supposed to be getting the serum ready. It's finished? He didn't say anything to me. We have a problem. All I've found so far are analysis on Bruce's blood. What's he doing processing his own blood? Where are the other trials? other trials. What? All this time, he's only been working on himself. <gasps> Wait, I can explain. Do you know what you've done? I need those soldiers. Not if you have the Hulk. You're crazy. No, with the serum, I can control him. What? Move to DEFCON 5. The three Shatari ships will be here in less than five minutes. If we survive this attack, you're gonna hang for this. Oh no. Bruce! What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. I'll fix this, Betty, I promise. See, I told you. Bruce, is that really you? Yes, everything's gonna be okay.
Vibranium dipped. Keeps getting better. Good to see you, Stark. You're lucky. I had an opening in my schedule. for the delay, Captain. I was vanquishing bog boars from Alfheim when I learned of the attack. Who's the chick with the hammer? Whoever she is, I'm glad she's on our side.
of the mighty Molnir. I fear this brute won't be as obliging. <laughs> Betty, how can we stop him? He won't stop until everyone's dead. What about Bruce's medicine? Will it work on the Hulk? Maybe, I, at 20 times the dose. Go get as much as you can. me. I'm gonna squish you. Yeah. Get a beat on him. Wasp, distract him. I'm on it. Won't. She's trying to calm him down so he won't burn through the sedative. I need you to stop fighting, okay? It's time to rest. 
Everything's going to be all right. I promise. Betty. How long has he been like that? He hasn't moved since we brought him in. Want me to let him know you're here? No. I wouldn't know what to say. Hey, Cap. I, uh, brought someone by to see you. He needed this. So did she. I've had a good life, Steve. I'm happy to hear that. Now, it's your turn. Captain America, the man who fought to the finish defending this bunch of ingrates. can't believe it. It's finally over. Those hotshots actually pulled it together. Yes, they did. They had a great leader. 